It's a me, Gaby. Uh, <laughs> hi everyone. Um, this video I wanted to make because you know I'm done with my first semester of grad school. Um, there's the school that I go to. Um, does a great books program, and all of the classes, not just some, are basically Socratic. Uh, seminars essentially and that's how we learn and just wanted to you know give my thoughts on it anyway um yeah about the Socratic method I've always liked it so maybe I'm a little biased but I can say that I really enjoyed um um participating in it um I I still haven't gotten the knack down yet of knowing how much commentary or how much um to speak really um you actually go through what they call dawn rags where your professors they get on a on a video call with you and they just talk about you and they write up a report and you're supposed to report back to them about you know like what what type of stuff um you think they could improve what type of stuff of what they said you think is true what you think is false and so even those interactions with the professors are are Socratic um and yeah I can say I really appreciate this form of learning because it's more like we're teaching each other and um the the professors they're more so just as a guide to keep us on topic to keep us from straying too much although it does depend um from professor to professor right because some will guide the discussion a lot more than others um but here's the thing they rarely if ever say like yes this was the right answer to this question which they pose at the beginning of every seminar and what's interesting is that you know no two classes no not even uh no two semesters are ever the same, right? Because you never know what type of question you're going to get. Um, one thing, and I think this is um, a critique levied at uh, the Socratic method for thousands of years, is that sometimes, you know, not every class is a banger. Like, not every class leaves you with a satisfactory answer about the topic at hand and so you end up leaving more confused than you were when you started now <laughs> is that a good or bad thing i i don't really know why why should it be that that's good or why should it be that that's bad like can you just pursue knowledge for its own sake um and honestly I'm not sure that I even trust myself to to be knowledgeable and to be able to to hammer out these questions so there's that also um, I mean, yeah, that's really the only significant criticisms that I can think of for the Socratic method. Let me know what you guys like and dislike about the Socratic method and seminars down in the description because I would be very fascinated to hear about that. Alright, thank you.